you know, not, not an area usually ripe with excitement. So why all the excitement for pharma deals this year? And what are your three picks? Uh, I mean, Kelly, COVID-19 served as a very painful reminder of the need for innovative healthcare solutions in our society. And even beyond COVID-19, there are many other rare and chronic diseases that still need effective treatments and potentially cures. And generally, they come from the smaller cap biotech names. From an investment perspective, we see the opportunity as it relates to the M&A potential of these smaller cap biotech companies that have these innovative healthcare solutions that are currently in the FDA approval pipeline. Yes, Sarepta might be the most notable, uh, widely followed one anyway. So you have Sarepta Bluebird, and is it Atara? It's Atara Biotherapeutics, it's Bluebird Bio, and of course it's Sarepta Therapeutics. The first two are smaller cap names with market caps of roughly $1 billion and $2 billion respectively, and Sarepta is more of a mid-cap name, Kelly, with a market cap of roughly $6 billion. All three, though, represent this type of innovative healthcare treatments that society needs right now using T-cell immunotherapies, using things such as gene therapies and gene editing to help combat afflictions such as cancer and even multiple sclerosis. Atara is up 25 percent this year. Uh, Bluebird is down about the same amount. So tell me just about the valuation in these stocks. If they have uh, therapies that are, could be a strategic fit for larger businesses, is that sort of takeover multiple already priced in? We don't, we don't necessarily think of. We're trying to identify those companies that have at least one drug in the FDA approval process, either in clinical stage two or clinical stage three trials, because that's when those companies are most attractive to those larger cap pharmaceutical companies that need to acquire these smaller cap biotech companies to help replace lost revenue potential, either through the push down in drug prices or through some of their larger revenue producing drugs that have now come off patent and are subject to generic pricing. Right, the patent cliff. But that's a good point, too, about drug pricing yeah. hurting the top line. So final question, because PwC is warning about regulatory pushback. What kind of concerns are for amount, do you think, for regulators here? I think it becomes all about the pace of that FDA approval process. We saw over the last four to five years the pace of that approval process picking up if that starts to slow down. And we see a lot of these drugs kind of stuck between level two and level three approval status. That could actually pick up the pace of the acquisition uh, trade because once these drugs get approved, they demand an even higher premium. And the large cap pharmaceutical companies want to buy them prior to that large premium that they may have to buy. So as we look at the large cap pharma companies, who would potentially be the acquirers? And is it, you know, we were just speaking about the media space a few minutes ago and how one large deal often catalyzes the rest of them. So, you know, could they all become potential players if this consolidation happens this year? Uh, who in particular do you think has the most urgency? Yeah, and it may not necessarily, Kelly, be the names that you're familiar with. Of course, we always hear about J&J &J and Pfizer looking to actually enhance their revenue potential by buying some of these more innovative healthcare solutions. But look at the deal that was announced back in February when Jazz Pharmaceuticals announced that they were going to acquire GW Pharmaceuticals at a roughly $220 per share. GW Pharmaceuticals across in the medical marijuana field. That's another example of the type of M&A activity we're experiencing and we're seeing and we think will continue through the remainder of 2021. You alluded to it earlier, but PwC has projected a record year for M&A activity in the biotech space with up to potentially $275 billion hmm. in deal activity anticipated. Wow. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.